Planet Dolan. From creepy crawlies rape to stroke and flipper's wing, we look at 10 disturbing cases of interspecies sex. Yep, we're going there today. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? And today, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number 10. Brian Hathaway was charged with sexual gratification after being caught having sex with a dead deer. Oh, we going there today. This Bambi-loving necrophiliac had only just gotten out of jail for killing a horse that he was planning on getting jiggy with. When he came across a dead deer, he just couldn't help himself. Nature's calling like the dude just, he just, I just, he just knew that when he saw that dead animal, he was like, I gotta go at it. I just, nature's calling. His lawyer argued that since the deer was already dead, nothing illegal transpired because the law only covers sex with animals, not carcasses. Luckily, the judge didn't agree and found Brian guilty of sexual gratification with an animal. Number 9. Seal the deal. Over the past decade, scientists have noticed some pretty disturbing behavior among seals. It turns out male seals have been witnessed raping penguins. In particular, Antarctica fur seals will chase king penguins, corner them, and then just rape and snatch them. And it seems it doesn't even matter if the penguin is female or male. It's still rape. See it, baby? In some cases, the penguins were let go afterwards. But sometimes the seal will kill and then eat the penguins. Scientists don't understand the reason for this odd behavior. The penguins for dinner part is fairly normal, but raping penguins is out of the ordinary, but it's becoming more common. So with all this rape and eating their victims, seals are basically the Jeffrey Dahmer of the animal kingdom. And I mean, can you imagine seeing that? Just a, a, a seal just going in on a penguin? Just He's just going in. And, and this thing is on like Channel 7 Animal Planet. Number 8. Utter This World. Speaking of serial killers, it turns out that otters are like the Ted Bundy's of the animal kingdom, or John Wayne Gacy's, those cute and cuddly creatures that hold hands while they're asleep. Yeah, they're raging rape machines. Except their victims are our previous perpetrators, seals. But when they get to raping, they hold their victims face underwater, which sometimes means accidentally drowning their lover. As if that wasn't weird enough, sometimes they'll hold on to the corpses of their victims for a week like the little furry sadists they are. God terrible now with this all being said i want you guys to take this information and think about it think about how you will fight an otter trying to come at you in the middle of the night and he's making this noise i want you guys to think about it real hard after this video you're you're gonna be thinking about this think about how you will fight that otter number seven got your goat in 2006, a Sudanese man, Mr. Toom, was caught in a compromising position with his neighbor's goat. What position that was? I don't think you want to know. Mr. Toom was caught in the middle of the sex act, and when he tried to escape, the goat's owners grabbed him and tied him up. The village elders thought it was all pretty funny and cleverly named the goat Rose because she had been deflowered. They told the neighbor not to go to the police and ordered Toom to marry the goat and pay a dowry to his neighbor. Unfortunately, the newlyweds' time together was short-lived, but it'll always have the memories. Remember though, kids. If you don't want someone to get your goat, don't tell them where you tied it up, or her in this case. Number 6. Fly by Nighter There's a fruit fly called the Yakuba, and scientists discovered they've been mating with a similar species called the Santomia fly. Yakuba males have external spines that hold their lover in place to ensure fertilization is achieved. Romantic, right? And this is all chill when he's actually hooking up with a female Yakuba fly. When they try to mate with this other breed, she doesn't have the necessary equipment so the spine just stabs her. So he sort of humps her back and then ejaculates all over the place. Then the sperm dries into some kind of super glue. As if things weren't awkward enough, now they're stuck together. It's like one of those awkward elevator rides that just won't end and the music is terrible. Number 5. Lame Llamas In very few rare circumstances, llamas have been seen mating with donkeys. Or at the very least, they're trying to. There are videos flowing around online that show instances where groups of male llamas are being total jackasses and forcing themselves onto female donkeys. That's just wrong. Mother Nature obviously didn't see fit to make llamas as smart as they are cute and fluffy. Scientists aren't sure if their humping is confusion or just for shits and giggles. Either way, these llamas are really making an ass of themselves. Number 4. Desirable Dolphin mm. Back in the 70s, Malcolm Brenner loved Dolly the Dolphin and spent nine months photographing her as a part of a project he was working on. He says that while he was swimming with the animal, she nibbled on his arm, erotically, and that she was offended when he initially rebuffed her advances. Eventually though, he could no longer resist Dolly and they consummated their relationship. He says that the dolphin's vagina is like a series of complicated valves. 
Malcolm has since become a zoophile advocate and argues that animals can consent to sexual activities with humans. Unfortunately for Malcolm, and fortunately for Dolly, she was moved interstate shortly after their foray, probably because she just couldn't stop flirting with all the other humans. These dolphins ain't loyal. I say that again, these dolphins ain't loyal. Number 3. Bed Bug Brutality Remind me to never hook up with a bed bug or any animal that engaged in a sex act referred to as traumatic insemination. Doesn't that sound like getting raped in the ass by some sort of bug that just crawled up while you were sleeping? Doesn't that scare you? The male bed bug has sharp genitalia, and to a pregnant lady, he basically stabs her stomach and then ejaculates into the womb. See, there you go again. When two different species of bed bugs try to commingle, the male doesn't have any problems stabbing females. Like he's Mike Myers in Halloween, he's just going slashing at and just busting, it's just busting on the wounds. But the females don't fare very well because their species doesn't use the same system for procreation. It leads to infertility and occasionally deadness. Scientists believe the males might be using it as a tactic to prevent other subspecies from breeding and using up all the resources. So in short, they're dicks, but they're probably sharp dicks. And they just bust everywhere. Bust bugs. Number two, hung like a horse. In 2005, a man went to what's called an animal brothel, where fans of bestiality congregate to have sex with various farmyard animals. You got sheep, you got cows, you got pigs, you got goat. You can fuck it in the ass or you can let it fuck you in the ass. This guy's fantasy was to receive anal sex from a horse. See, he's the receiver. He succeeded in playing out his fantasies. Unfortunately, the animal's penis ruptured the guy's colon and he died as a result of his injuries. They ruled his death accidental. Thanks to the media circus surrounding his case at the time, Washington finally got around to banning sex with animals in their state. So Karma got that guy right in the ass, apparently. And that's what you get for horsing around. Or, you know, uh, letting a horse just fuck you right in the ass. Number one, dog gone it. In 2008, a 43 year old woman from Ireland went searching online for a companion. It was in a bestiality chat room that she met a man that invited her over to have sex with man's best friend, his pet. Alsatian. Now, I want you guys to take a step back and think about a 43-year-old woman on a site just typing away and the relationship status is single and then she's looking for a black poodle with a big ass dick and she wants to be able to take him on long walks on the beach. I want you guys to just, just imagine that. Don't Google it. Just just think about it. As it turns out, the Irish lass didn't know she was allergic to dog semen. I want you to just think about that one. Just think about it. So shortly after this lady's doggy deed, she died in the hospital. After the dog's owner was charged with buggery, pretty much sodomy, some argued it was a rough sentence. But it seems man's best friend isn't so chummy with the ladies. Just, just think about it. Just, just think about it, y'all. Think about it. Well, much love and appreciation. Take care, everybody. Peace. Jelly beans are covered in bug feces. There's a reason the outer surface of a jelly bean is so hard, crunchy, and shiny. And that's because it's covered in a material known as shellac. Shellac is often made from the excretions of the female lac insect.